Hi, I'm Erin Jansen, author of Netlingo the Internet Dictionary and founder of Netlingo.com. I'm here to explain the internet word of the day. Ooh, it is invisible web, also known as deep web or area 51 of the internet. The invisible web refers to the vast repository of information that search engines and directories don't have direct access to, such as databases. It's true that information from the invisible web is buried so deep that it doesn't show up in most organic search results. In fact, it's estimated that the invisible web is 500 times larger than the visible web or surface web. Basically, the reason why such a large portion of the web is not indexed by search engines is because it consists of dynamic pages within database-driven websites. These deep URLs are identifiable in that they are generally very long and contain a wide variety of symbols, such as question marks or percentage signs. If you're doing an online search and you can't find what you're looking for, Try using the website's site search to delve deeper. Now, many of the terms in this definition are linked, meaning they're cross-referenced to other dictionary terms so you get a better understanding of what they mean. Most of us know what search engines and database-driven websites are, but I just want to make sure we're all clear on organic search results, also known as organic listings. Organic search results are the list of websites that naturally come up when a user searches specific keywords, as opposed to the paid listings that search engines sell. Organic listings appear solely because a search engine has deemed it editorially important enough for them to be included, regardless of payment. Note, some search engines include paid listings at the top of organic listings, even though these sponsored links are actually paid for. Reports have shown that users click on organic search results more often than they do on paid listings. For example, iProspect in 2004 found that on Google, 73% of users clicked on organic listings, whereas 27% clicked on the paid ads. And on search engines overall, 60% click on the organic listings, whereas 40% click on the paid ads. So that's our term today, Invisible Web. I'm Erin Jansen, and until next time, I'll see you online.